family of the late engineer Abdurrahman Musa has still not come to terms with the death of their breadwinner. And from the day he was allegedly murdered up till now, the family has continued to demand full justice. Sadly, the lifeless body of Mr. Musa was found in a canal in the Agege area of Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano reports. He was a father of four and until the 31st of October 2021, he was also the head of the electrical engineering unit of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. At his residence, his family is still playing host to sympathizers. Now surrounded by family and friends, his widow still hasn't come to terms with the fact that their breadwinner is no more. He used to go to the she said Sunday the 31st of October started off well for the family, not until later in the day when she couldn't reach her husband. So if he went like that, he used to come back around the evening times, around like 10.30 p.m. So I called his number, he's not going. I called the senior brother that I'm calling his number, he's not going. The brother said, okay, let us watch TD following the day and see what is going on. Then on getting there, she identified the helocks with her husband, no way in sight. By Thursday, a phone call confirmed her greatest fear. On Thursday, they found him dead at Kana's side. I was, wow, what is happening that they stabbed him? Whoever that did this thing to him, he will face the judgment of the God. This is what has become of the hillocks, which has no dent when the father of Ford drove it out to his farm that fateful Sunday. Engineer Abdul Rahman Musa, we were told, had a habit of getting provisions for his family from one of the streets that links to Agric Road. Right behind me is Agric Road, and from the information we gathered here, he was coming from the Agri Road and his intention was to turn into Abattoir Road back to his home when his hillocks fell into this drainage. The engineer was said to have handed over his car keys to a security guard at this fuel station before leaving the scene. From there we headed to the area where his body was found in a canal. Residents here are also at a loss as to what really happened. I uh, hear the odor of something. Before, before, I think that our kana is smelly. So, somebody say, ah, they saw a dead person. It took uh, almost more than four hours. At the end of the day, they brought him out here. We did, actually, we, all of us saw it that this man looks like somebody who was uh, uh, harmed or tampered or something like that. <laughs> Emmanuel Abaje is a family friend and he was at the canal when the body was discovered. The shirt was like it was pulled back with his back, with his hand like this. So that's how it was uh, found. But for, uh, from my friend uh, Nuhu, who happens to look uh, very close by, he was able to see a cut or a cut on the head. Until his death, the 51-year-old father of four had put in more than 35 years at the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.